Hello and welcome back to my video channel here. Thanks for joining me here today. I'm Adriana and I've got a card here or two cards that I've created for Couture Creations. I am using a different two te techniques of creating some wonderful backgrounds on back of cards. So just to give texture and a little bit more interest to your cards. So the first one technique here is using a scoreboard, scoring some lines you can see on the back of the white cardstock. And this one here I've actually foiled, but not foiled with the hot machine. I'm just going to use some double-sided adhesive tape. To start off with, I'm using some cardstock from Couture Creations. I have listed below all the colour and all the materials I've used for my cards. This cardstock is 12 inches and I've just cut it 5 inches across and folded in half. So I have a 5 by 6 inch uh, card base. The white inserts that are placed on top, I've cut them down from white cardstock and they're 4.5 inches by 5.5 inches. So they go nicely placed on top. So for the first one, I'm going to use my mini scoreboard. This is a great tool for making envelopes and scoring cards. It comes with a score tool already and it is perfect for this type of um, technique. So I'm just scoring first a one inch score line and then every quarter of an inch or yeah quarter of an inch um, or eighth of an inch I'm going down down all the length of that cardstock up until I get to before one inch of the end of the card stock. So that will give you a textured line. It's really lovely and just really looks nice and interesting. You could actually also rub some ink over that, but I just left it plain and white for this technique. For my second card, I'm just going to score one inch from the top and on the bottom of that card stock to start my lines for when to adhere the an embossing folding and glitter adhesive tape. This is a great strong tape for you can use it with glitter, it will hold glitter, it will hold embossing powders and also it will do this technique that I'm going to show you today of using with foil. So I'm gently going to place a strip of this double adhesive tape and cutting along and just leaving a little gap in between until I reach to the end of the one inch before I get to the end of the cardstock. So once I've done that, I've got a cardstock that looks like this. I'm going to trim down the edges. In hindsight, I probably should have used a craft knife because this tape is so sticky and well and so strong. It does um, adhere to your scissors blades, so make sure you clean them after you've used them. Um, but it is a very strong tape and great for this technique. So once I've trimmed all that adhesive tape, I'm going to use my picking tool and I'm going to pick each individual tape off gently and once that's revealed that sticky surface, I'm going to cut a piece of Couture Creations heat activated foil. So this is a great technique of using double sided tape, cardstock and foil. So you may have some foil in your cupboard, you may have some of your, of course you should have some double adhesive tape. And this is a great technique. So I'm gently placing this gorgeous copper foil on top of the card with that sticky surface of the tape and gently rubbing it with my hands or you can use a scoring tool. And just gently peel. Now if you see some places that haven't got any foil, just put it, pat it down and rub it over again and that will be fine. So that's a beautiful background created for that card. I've used some ephemera from the Elegance collection and the stamp sets and coloured them in with alcohol ink markers. I've listed all the colours down below and just added a beautiful foil sentiment from the same collection of Elegance collection. Just a simple card but very effective. And this one here again I've used a topper from the ephemera foiled frames and you can see the beautiful texture underneath with the scoring board and added some stamps and word sentiment in foil and again colored with 
the stamps are coloured in with the alcohol ink markers. All these products are available from Couture Creations. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope you inspired you to create some really nice, simple and effective and sweet cards for any occasion. These products are all available from Couture Creations and available from your local paper craft store. Thanks for watching and please, if you like this video, please give a big like or leave any comments below, any questions. I do have some other videos that include a lot of things using the foiling machine and also any products, the new products that have come out for Couture Creations. Thanks for joining me here today. I wish you a very great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.